the Detroit Pistons select Cade Cunningham all right pistons fans so on today's video i'm going to be hitting you guys with an injury update i haven't done one in a while there's been a lot of trade rumors going around so i've had to focus on that recently but it's time to finally do another injury update we got some new information on a lot of guys we got jeremy grant we have isaiah livers we have kelly olenic and we have chris smith but before we get into all of that please make sure you guys like this video today's like goal is 110 likes and subscribe to the channel if you're new Okay, so luckily for the Pistons, the All-Star break is coming up, okay? With all the amount of injuries that we've had so far, it will be good for the Pistons to have a few days off so that guys can get healthy and rest up. And you know, thinking about it right now, just this entire season has been injury riddled. Um, Kay Cunningham to start the season, missed around the first month of basketball, and then we had an extremely tough schedule to start out with. I remember two of our first four games was against the Chicago Bulls. Then we had to go against the Nets and the Bucks and the Heat. Our schedule early on was really tough and not having Kay Cunningham was rough as well. So, you know, that's why our record early on was pretty bad. Then we had Kelly Olenek went down in like the first 10 games of the season. And then eventually Jeremy Grant went down as well. We already didn't have Chris Smith. We already didn't have Isaiah Livers because those two guys had injuries in college that they had to recover from. So thinking back on it with the combination of a tough schedule injuries as well, you know, you wonder why the Pistons record is so bad right now. That's a pretty darn good reason why. I get that we're a bad team, but I feel like our record would be slightly better if we would have had a more clean bill of health this season. And then also Killian Hayes, he's had these knickknack out of nowhere random injuries. You know, he had one to his thumb. He had a hip injury a few games ago. He just has these injuries out of nowhere. So he's another guy who's going to benefit from this all-star break and this Pistons team as a whole will massively benefit from a few days off. So the first guy that I'm going to update you on is Chris Smith. So um, put the image on the screen. It says Chris Smith listed on the injury report versus the Cavs tomorrow could be active to play. So um, obviously that game did pass and Chris Smith did not play at all. But the fact that it said that he was listed on the injury report and that he could have been active to play does give me hope that we will see Chris Smith pretty soon um chris smith recently he made his debut in the g league and he looked decent down there so i am hoping to see him soon i'm hoping we can see his nba debut in due time now we have to shift to dwayne casey and jeremy grant put that image on the screen right now it says dwayne casey on jeremy grant he will be back before the trade deadline via james edwards the third so initially, I thought we would see him Tuesday against the New Orleans Pelicans. But now after seeing that, I don't necessarily know if that's going to be accurate, especially since he also didn't play in this game against the Cavs. So we have the All-Star break, which will be on February 18th. And then the trade deadline is on February the 10th. So I guess that they're going to allow him to go out there and play the slightly up his trade value because, you know, thinking about it, I would have expected the Pistons to just let Grant sit until after the All-Star break comes so that he could come back healthy and ready to go for the second half of the season. Because typically our medical staff, they're extremely cautious with players. So I'm kind of surprised that they're allowing him to go out there and play right now and not just let him sit for the All-Star break. But I guess they're going to allow him to get some run or try to up his trade value, depending on what the Pistons currently want to do with Grant in the future. And then also I have another image to put on the screen. It doesn't really relate to injuries, but it's Grant. He's used to the rumors being out there. He's a professional. And it doesn't seem like he's worried at all, honestly, about getting traded. Now let's move on to Kelly Olenek. Put that image on the screen right now. It says, Kelly Olenek has cleared health and safety protocols. He and Jeremy Grant return to competitive reconditioning and are out against the Cleveland Cavaliers today. And then also Josh Jackson, right lumbar spine spasm is questionable. And then the last thing that I'm gonna share with you guys is gonna be Isaiah Livers. It's like a quick 10 to 12 second um, video of him shooting around and training. Play that clip. So that's basically everything man with the all-star break coming up we should be getting a lot a lot of these guys back pretty soon so let me know your thoughts in the comment section below like this video comment on this video share this video thank y'all for 4k and i'm out